Hey everybody, it's Lisa Burningham, and I'm so glad that you're here with me. It's that magical time of year, the time where we decorate our homes in lights and glitter and ornaments, and the center standout is always the tree. Well, trees come in all sorts of different sizes and shapes. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make a Christmas tree cone that is made out of poster board. Now, half of the trees I'm going to cover in faux fur, and the other half I'm going to do with yarn. I'm gonna cover them in yarn, and I'm gonna make some intricate designs that will make them look special and unique. If this is the first time that you're visiting my channel, then welcome. I'm Lisa. I do DIYs, home decor, party ideas, and holiday entertaining. I post weekly videos, and I would love to have you join me, so please subscribe and turn those bell notifications on so you'll be the first to know when I upload my latest video. Now, at the end of this video, I'm gonna be sharing what I'm going to be doing next week, and it's really exciting. I think you'll like it, so stay tuned to the end. Now, I don't know if you've been in the market for cone-shaped Christmas trees, but they can be expensive, like really expensive. So I thought, how hard could it really be to make my own? And guess what? It's so simple. All you need is a few pieces of poster board. I got mine from the Dollar Tree and they were only 50 cents a piece, so already that is a great start. Now I've seen a lot of different ways that people have made cones, but what works best for me is just to have a pattern because I want a long and slender tree. So I made a pattern and I placed it on top of my white poster board. I got a pencil and I traced out the pattern and then cut out the shape. Then I began to twist it all together. I started at the top and I tightly rolled it into a funnel shape. I kept rolling until I had a cone then I got some hot glue and I hot glued the seams together. After I was finished with that, I got a pair of scissors and I trimmed the bottom so it would be nice and even. Now I have three different heights on my trees. I have a 16 inch, an 18 inch, and a 24 inch, and I will leave all of the dimensions and the instructions in the description box below if you wanna check it out. Now it's time to make our trees pretty. The first example that we're gonna do is we're gonna use some yarn and make some designs on our cone. I got this yarn at Michael's. It was buy one, get one half off, and I love a good bargain. I'm gonna put some hot glue on the end of the yarn. I'm going to hot glue it to my cone, and then I'm going to wrap it around itself in a circular fashion until I have a circle. I'm gonna put a different amount around my cone. They're gonna be different sizes, and the variation is gonna make it look really unique and special. Now, the problem that I had with this yarn and this shelf is that it all blended together. I made them yesterday and I lived with it for a day and it was almost like they were invisible. So I had to come up with a solution. And what I did was I decided to spray paint them. So. I got some gold spray paint and I did a couple of coats and it turned out really great because the, this gold paint made the trees almost look like a rose gold, which is great because it matches with the candlesticks that I have on my fireplace mantle. So I'm really happy with the way they turned out and in this instance we turned lemons into lemonade. For my next design, I wanted my tree to look like a pine tree, so I decided to make some branches. Again, I hot glued the end of the yarn right onto the cone, and then I looped it down in kind of an oblong oval shape, looped it right back up, and then went down through it one more time. And then I could just move right on to the next branch. I didn't have to cut it, it was seamless, and I also hot glued as I went along to make the branches. Once I got to the top, I took the excess yarn and I just wrapped it around a couple times, hot glued it together, and snipped off the excess. 
This tree also gets a few coats of spray paint. The final yarn design is the easiest and simplest of all. I just wrapped the yarn horizontally around the entire height of my tree. I just wrapped and wrapped and I hot glued as I went until I got to the top. I hot glued it all together, snipped off the excess, and then I had this beautiful tree. This tree also got a coat of spray paint along with the other two. And I also decided to add some embellishments on all three of my designs. I got some gold beads and I hot glued them at various places along my trees, in the circles, in some vacant spaces, just all over, just to give them a little extra embellishment and sparkle. And then at the top, every tree needs a topper, right? So my trees are getting some ornaments. Now I had some little holes at the top of the cones just naturally where the funnel came together and so it was a perfect spot to put my ornament. I just hot glued a little line of hot glue around the bottom part of the ornament and I placed it right on top of my tree. My next design is so easy. All we're going to do is wrap our cones in some faux fur. Now I already have this faux fur, but I've seen it at Joann's and Hobby Lobby and even at Walmart where you can buy it by the yard. So what I did was I got my segment of fur and I hot glued it to my cone. I just wrapped it around. I made sure all the seams lined up and I just hot glued it all together so it would stay on. And I liked it plain, but I thought a little embellishment might be nice. So I got a strand of beaded garland. Now I've seen these at Walmart and at the Dollar Tree. And what I did was again, I hot glued the bead straight on to the cone. And then I wrapped it two or three times around the tree. And then I hot glued the end to the cone directly so it would all stay in place. Now behind me I have an entertainment wall and on either side of the TV I have some shelves which are a great place to display my trees. I'm also going to add an extra garland. I'm going to add some ornaments, some berries, and a string of battery operated lights. I'm also going to add some of those gold magnolia seed pods that I made earlier in the fall and all of these things will just add to the festive feel of my trees. Now I am all finished with my trees and let me tell you they look so high end. No one would know that we only spent a few dollars to make these trees. They really elevate the overall look of the Christmas decor in this room. Speaking of the room, I'm going to share with you a home tour of all of my Christmas DIYs and decorating that we've been doing over the course of the past six weeks. So that's going to be my next two videos. I'm going to break it up into two videos. So make sure that you check back next week to see the first part in my Christmas home tour. I hope you got some ideas or some inspiration so that you can make your own Christmas cone trees. These Christmas trees would be a great addition to your tabletop decor, fireplace mantle, or shelf. These poster board trees were a cinch to make and very affordable. I hope you'll check back next week to see part one of my holiday home tour. I'll show you how beautifully these trees fit in with my overall Christmas decor. And as always, thank you so much for watching.